Well, it's just about a wee bit windy out here this evening. And yet, all the clouds that they were saying were supposed to be in here tonight aren't there. So, that's the view west about 7.30. And the Brayburn is beginning to wake up. There's still a lot more in there that hasn't begun to develop yet. But those are cute. Those are pretty. Just a soft little pink. to 30 mile an hour winds tomorrow so I'm kind of hoping that these stay closed here for a little bit and that in that maybe by Thursday maybe we can really begin to get the show off of this flowering crab and I'm still kind of hopeful for this we've got some younger blossoms down there that look like in spite of the frost and the snow and the freezing rain that we had, that they didn't turn. Like this one did. This one obviously got blasted. But some of these may turn out to be pretty spectacular after all. Looks like this one. It's kind of windy out here tonight. Darlings have just about ran their course. What's really strange though, and this doesn't use the but there's a later signal bell here in the double bells. I'm trying to stay out of the wind because it is pretty fierce. Just to show you what I mean, look at what it's doing to the grass over there. That's some shimmering stuff. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's another cloud bank low in the sky over there. Lower than what the bottom of the sun is. Maybe you can more nearly see it over here. Well, usually the wind calms down with the setting of the sun. However, that's now what they're forecasting tonight. And every once in a while, I think it is calming down. And then another gust picks up. But that sun sure is getting lower, isn't it? Well, trying to stay out of the wind. That's going to focus on the near stuff and not let me see what I want to see in the far stuff. Yeah, that's pretty well going on. Definitely can see where that cloud bank is now, can't you? Look at that little silver cloud right above the sun, though. Just kind of a little exclamation point over there.
been a good day. I got some stuff done that need to be done quite a while ago, actually. And uh, in doing that, I got myself pretty well set up for tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say here. Profound. What I thought I had planned just doesn't seem to fit with this particular sunset. But that's okay. Wow, look at the look at the silver stuff right at the edge of the cloud bank. I hope you can see that. Then we're beginning to get some red just to the left of the sun over there. Got some geese flying through the shot. <laughs> Evidently, that pair has decided to nest here. Or at least I think it's the same pair. I see them quite often and they, they come by and they talk to me. Yep. There's just not much left of that sunset, is there? Let's see what happens if we do this. Yeah, there you can see that little silver cloud I was talking about. And right at the edge of the cloud bank, there's a pretty nicely silver strip as well. Okay, I think I got you zoomed in as far as what this thing's going to let me zoom in. <laughs> that cloud bank on, on the screen here, I don't know how it's going to turn out in the final video, but that has taken on a really blue element, hasn't it? That definitely shortens down the field of view by zooming in that far. cloud bank. I would say that we've had another day. Thank you, Lord, for letting it be a good one.